additive relationships of linear functions and how to put them on a graph. So if they tell you that the graph of the line representing an additive relationship um, will not pass through the origin, 0, 0, that means there's going to be some value that is our y-intercept that is not at the origin. So remember that your y-intercept is just that value where x equals 0. So our y-intercept here is going to be when in the x column you see a 0, y-intercept is just going to be whatever that y-value is. So for us, that means we have 0, negative 2. We can put that right onto the graph right here. So 0, negative 2, and that's touching the y-axis, so we plotted that correctly. Now we can go through and plot the rest of these points. Negative 1, negative 3 is going to be right here. 1, negative 1 is going to be right here. And 3, 1 will be here. And then you just want to carefully graph that line by drawing a line through those points as best you can and make it straight. Now, to create the equation for this, we want to figure out, well, we know it's an additive relationship. We can see that the slope here is just 1. For every block we go up, we go over 1, so the slope is just 1 over 1. That means we can use that rule that we talked about in the last video of y equals x plus b. Our b is our y-intercept. We already found that our y-intercept is negative 2. So that means the equation for this line is just going to be y equals x minus 2. Now for every x value you put in here, you should get the y value that was given. So if we go back and test one of these ones that they gave us, if I plug in a negative 1 for x right here, negative 1 minus 2 would get me negative 3, and that is what our y value should have been, so that is correct there. Now moving in to the next example, it says given a graph determine the y-intercept. So if you're asked to find what the y-intercept is when you look at a graph, you want to find the point where the line crosses the y-axis. So you look at the y-axis and you find the point where the line's touching it. So for us, that's right here. And that point is 0, negative 4. So this point is written in the form 0, b, and b is what our y-intercept is. So that means that our y-intercept here is negative 4. And then you just have to write the equation using that form y equals x plus b. So in this case, the graph of this equation would just be y equals x minus 4. So go ahead and try these two on your own. If you want to pause the video to try them and then check your work, that's great. So hopefully you did try these. First step you want to do is find where the y-intercept is. And we can see that that is the point 0, 4. That's going to mean that b equals 4. Now our slope, let's just check. If we go up one box, that's up 2. And if we go over one box, that's over 2. So our slope is 2 over 2, which equals 1. So we can say that y equals x plus 4 is our equation. In our next example, the y-axis is being crossed by the line at this point, 0, negative 2. So we can say that our b value is just negative 2 here. And our slope, again, is 1. Every box we go up, we go over 1. So 1 over 1 is 1. That means we can use the equation y equals x minus 2 to represent this line. Now, if you're given um, the y-intercept in a point and you have to put it on the graph, first thing you want to do is figure out what that point for b is. So when they just say that the y-intercept is 3, we should write that in the form of 0, 3, because the y-intercept is when x is 0. So we need to write that point as 0, 3. And then we know that it passes through this point, negative 2, 1. So we want to plot both of these points on our graph. So 0, 3 is right here, and negative 2, 1 is this point here. So that means that this graph is going to go up this way and you can finish plotting those points there. So do your best to draw your line straight, and that's all we have to do. That's our graph right there. Now, hopefully you can try this one on your own. To check your work, first thing you want to do, it says the y-intercept is negative 2. So that point is just 0, negative 2, and they give us this point of 4, 2. 
So we plot both of these points. Zero, negative two is right here, and four, two is right here. So this graph is just going to continue to go up like this, and like so. So there's your graph of the line. And if you want to take it a step further, now that you know your y-intercept, you could always write the rule from this too, like we did at the beginning, and we can say that y equals x minus two, because our y-intercept's at negative two, and we can see that the slope here is just up one over one, so our slope is just one, so we can say y equals x minus two here. Thanks for watching.